hi guys how you doing this is lady b welcome to the channel if it's your first time go ahead and hit the like button share and subscribe to the channel guess what's in this box now today i want to show you how i'm gonna bottle my sorrel now this is a box filled with bottles yeah so i still have a jug of sorrel in my in my refrigerator I bought these bottles from Amazon these bottles also have the sea level core and they also have what else this is the what you call it now this is the funnel funnel or whatever that comes with it right in case I need it right this is for washing the bottles so guys, before I bottle these, I will be washing these bottles out just to make sure there are no residue from the manufacturer. So I'm just gonna two for six, two for six. Yes, I'm just gonna wash out about eight of these, right? I'm gonna wash these out and for those persons who one two three four five six seven eight I'm just gonna wash out eight of these right eight and I have eight covers four five six seven eight. so I'm washing these out just to make sure and this is this is the <coughs> The sponge or whatever it is, the bottle washer that comes with the product, right? So I'm just gonna wash these out real good. Because we don't want like, you know, sometimes whenever you buy something new, the recommendation is for you to wash it with warm soapy water to make sure there is nothing from the manufacturer factory. okay So I'm washing these uh, real, real clean. In Jamaica, they would say them going clean like whistle. In warm, salty water.
these are clean like whistle. I'm gonna let these bottles drain, so stay tuned after the intro. Yes, welcome back guys, and we already know what this is. This is my sorrel. And this is a drink that is authentically Jamaican. Is that a word? Yeah, man. And this is what we drink when you come on to Christmas time. Um, we boil the little buds. The buds dry. You know, pick them off the tree. They dry. You boil it or you brew it with ginger. We boil or brew the soil overnight. And the next day, you strain it and you sweeten it with you can use sugar or you can just use syrup or whatever i use sugar and i add a little rare nephew in it and also ginger but because i didn't have the other extra stuff that most people put in their sorrel i just brew the ginger and the sorrel together so i boil them together i actually blend up the, um, the ginger and it was this guy who told me i could do it like that in name chris so big up yourself chris if you have watched that video yeah yeah man so um me brew the ginger the night before the ginger and the soil together me blend up the ginger boil it then me make it seep all night till the next day then the next day which was actually christmas day me um we sweeten the sorrel with sugar and the sorrel, sorrel for sweetener. You know? So if you not sweeten the sorrel and it's fresh, don't bother with that. The sorrel for sweet. So I add extra sugar and I also add some pieces of ginger in the bottom of this. You can't see it, but this is very rich and very, very strong. So anyway, guys, I'm going to buckle this out and make you see how I buckle it out, right? Okay, guys, so I'm going to throw this in the bottles from this big jug here I am not even gonna use the funnel and I'm leaving some space in it as well because if I put it in the freezer if I happen to put it in the freezer then I definitely need space let's see how many bottles i can get out of this i had extra ginger at the bottom of the jug to help preserve the soil more so what I'm doing is training it so that I won't put the bigger pieces into the small jugs. Yeah. So I literally got eight bottles. I literally got eight bottles. See that? So we have eight bottles of sorrel. And these are 12 ounce bottles. All right, so now I am going to put on the covering. And look at this, it is sealed. This is a sealed, this is a sealed bottle. Look, the seal is not broken.
these are what the labels look like um 100 fresh fruit so let me take one of these off and see okay so this is what it would look like it may not stay on guys it may not stay on all right look at that voila See that? And on this I can write sorry. Oops, <laughs> this is on upside down. This is for the people that who can't read. No disrespect, that was just a joke, guys. Is that for the people that must see the name Bambula ET? So eight bottles of Saril. Eight bottles. Eight bottles of Saril. So guys, this is my handiwork. This is what the Saril looks like. Bottled and ready. Take a good look at it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yes. So that's it. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead, hit the like button, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about the bottling process of the saril and if you have another way you know make a saril just put some comments in the comment box below maybe you can give me suggestion or some other people suggestion thank you so much for watching guys and remember subscribe